It's raining today, but I am heading out to Hillsboro to show a home to someone. So I figured while I'm out there, I'm gonna go see if I can find the three historic markers that are in Hillsboro, New Hampshire. <music> Okay, so today I gave myself the impossible task in not just finding these three markers in Hillsboro, New Hampshire, which I've only traveled through briefly before, but I also, also only gave myself a half an hour. Um, so I'm going to jump out um, and get a picture and probably narrate over that because uh, I forgot to bring an umbrella, so I don't want my phone to get wet. Um, so I found the first one already, so let's go check it out. In 1769, Colonel John Hill, a Masonian proprietor, granted forever a tract of land in and around this triangle plot to the first settled minister, Reverend Jonathan Barnes, providing locations for the church, meeting house, minister's homestead, school, pound, training field, and burying ground. Worthy of note is that descendants of the original grantees still occupy many of these 18th and early 19th century homes. find the next one now. I'm using the map on the New Hampshire Historical Markers site. Um, it does have like a satellite map and then I'm just looking at the satellite map of where I am and then trying to put two and two together because they don't give you an exact address. On to the next one. I didn't get a drive up this time because I was actually on a turnpike. It's quite busy. But I'm going to turn it around now so you can see um, this is actually for our homestead. The Pierce Homestead was built in 1804 by Benjamin Pierce, a general in the American Revolution, twice governor of New Hampshire, 1827 to 1828 and 1829 to 1830, and father of Franklin Pierce, the 14th president of the United States from 1853 to 1857. Franklin Pierce was born in Hillsboro, November 23rd, 1804, and the family occupied this dwelling shortly thereafter. Time to traverse to the third marker, coming up, a dirt road. Stone Arch Bridges. Beginning in the 1830s, a few arched granite highway bridges were built in southern New Hampshire under the supervision of engineers from major manufacturing centers. By the 1850s, rural stonemasons had mastered the art of building such bridges without mortar. Hiram Monroe, 1799 to 1871, active in town affairs, persuaded Hillsborough to build a dozen. Five survive, and a sixth is covered by Franklin Pierce Lake. Among the local builders were Reuben E. Loverin, and brothers Calvin A. Gould and James H. Gould. All three worked on this, the double-arched Sawyer Bridge in 1866. Heading home, that was quite the adventure today. Uh, it was very, very wet <laughs> outside. Um, back roads in Hillsboro can get very narrow. Turn to dirt, which I find the GPS tends to send me down those roads that turn to dirt. Uh, oh, I made it and uh, only took 45 minutes instead of the half hour I was hoping. If you enjoyed this video, check out the first one I did for my first three uh, markers. Uh, today was actually markers four, five, and six, so I'm now up to six. Uh, end of March of 2021, we're having 
early April showers. Hopefully they'll bring gorgeous May flowers.